Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. A lot of very changeable weather to get through over the next roughly 18 hours, so let's get started. It's mostly heavy rain and strong wind, but there are some reports of sleet mixing in, which are those little ice pellets. Now, this is actually a file photo. This is not what's occurring tonight, but to give you an idea, it's been a while, but we've had some reports of some, a few pellets, not widespread, but a few of these little ice pellets mixing in with a generally a cold rain. And don't be surprised to even see that mixing in with some of the light showers for tomorrow. The rain's heavy now, but it is lighter tomorrow morning. We are chilly, middle to upper 30s right now, but above freezing, 38 Providence to Bedford's at 40. Well, the winds have really ramped up in the last couple of hours, especially along the South Shore, now getting close to 45, even 50 miles per hour. And we may see gusts, at least along the coastline, close to 50 to 60 during the overnight early tomorrow morning. Inland, it's a wind advisory. So quite simply, overnight early tomorrow morning, it's windy everywhere. But inland wind gusts are between 40 and 50, but the areas in red, which is a high wind warning, gusts out of the east, northeast, 50 to 60 miles per hour possible. So that means that there is a risk, albeit scattered of some uh, power outages. We take a look at a coastal flood advisory for the pre-dawn hours tomorrow around 4 or 5 a.m. during the time of high tide. The combination of these strong winds and the high tide they kind of push the water towards the coastline. So here's an example looking out towards Rhode Island Sound. Here's Narragansett Bay with that strong wind and the tide coming in. A push of water not just along the south shore, but up Narragansett Bay as far as Fox Point. So uh, not in terms of rain, but rather a tidal surge of coastal flooding possible minor to moderate during that high tide cycle. Again, this is pre dawn before the sun comes up early tomorrow morning. Obviously watching rivers and streams, they've been swollen for weeks due to the, all the heavy rain. We have river flood warnings, Taunton, Patuxet, Wood and the Pawkatuck rivers. The Patuxet may go a couple of feet above flood stage by tomorrow night. That's considered moderate flooding on that river. No flood warning for the Blackstone. We continue to see precipitation heavy at times coming up from the mid-Atlantic, even a few lightning strikes offshore. So the main storm center is spinning back here. It's this second one that's developing off the Jersey coastline, and that's the one that'll bring us the heavy rain and the wind overnight early tomorrow morning. Here we are at about 1 o'clock in the morning with a windswept heavy rain. Now by tomorrow morning around 9 a.m., the precipitation is lighter. Light rain, light snow showers, maybe a little sleet mixing in. Nothing real heavy, but it's still quite windy during the morning. Precipitation kind of eases and dries up a bit during the afternoon, but still windy and cold. Both Friday and Saturday are not storm days, but unfortunately both of those days, Friday and Saturday, do feature at least the chance of a passing shower along with mainly cloudy skies. A lot of snow in northern New England. If you have travel plans north of the Mass Pike and the Berkshires, some snow as well. So for tomorrow morning, very windy and chilly. Precipitation is light, but it is a light mixture of light rain showers. Maybe a little sleet mixing in, a few wet snowflakes. That's it, upper 30s to low 40. Welcome to April. And tomorrow afternoon, not much in the way of precipitation other than a flurry or a sprinkle. Very windy and chilly. Temperatures upper 30s to low 40s. Gale warning, no surprise on the bay for tomorrow. That northeast wind turning northwest, 15 to 25 knots. Again, Friday and Saturday, not storm days, just an isolated passing shower. Better on Sunday and the news is still good for Eclipse Monday, not just clear skies liking that temperature.